Good morning. Um, so this week's sort of theme is looking at intervals um, and pitching intervals um, and the way that vowels uh, can change our perception of an interval. Um, and I'm going to use examples from music theatre just for a change. Um, and the first one is um, the hills are alive. So I can imagine you all running around in your gardens, if you've got a garden, and um, doing your Julie Andrews thing. Uh, and that's good uh, because um, I often use that image of her with her arms flung wide, um, running across the, the top of the hills. Um, because it is so good about opening up the body. So if you fancy doing a Julie Andrews, absolutely do it. But the interesting thing, and this is where Rogers and Hammerstein were so clever, um, is that you go from a uh, e. So you're the hills. And the i sound helps to lift that second interval. Um, so you're only going but it feels much bigger to me than just a, a, a second. Um, and I think that's something that's really important, whether you're singing Renaissance music or contemporary music, it, it's all about our perception, our oral perception and how the vowels change it. So do have a good fling of your arms and the hills are alive with the sound of music. And you can do it in any key you like. See you tomorrow. Bye.